Times Square, the butthole of America. If you're from New York, you avoid this place like Elon Musk avoids his children. This is arguably my least favorite place on the planet. Yet, for some reason, each day over 300,000 people come here to Times Square to visit this place. What are they seeing that I'm not seeing? So today, I'm gonna to be spending 12 hours here in Times Square. I know the title says 24 hours. Um, I, I did lie to you. If that's a deal breaker, I get it. I'll give you this opportunity to, you know, find another video. Okay, let's do it. New York City, the Big Apple. At the heart of the city is Times Square, a place I've frankly never understood. There's so much that New York has to offer, and Times Square, to me, isn't one of them. But other people love it. Tourists seem to think this is like a must. Why Times Square? The New York experience. It's where it's lit. We got tickets to see Chicago tonight, and I'm pumped. It's exciting, but it's yeah. uh, I wouldn't want to live there. When you think Times Square, perhaps your mind goes to the characters that populate it. Like the street performers, busking for tips, the infamous naked cowboy, or uh, this lady. <laughs> she was actually really nice. I, I liked her a lot. She, she's cool. Wow. He's the best uh, photojournalist in the world. He's no hack. But I found that it's the, the regular people in Times Square who are the most interesting. People who have traveled from all over the world to marvel at uh, bright billboards like this guy. You're Navy? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, it's our 247th birthday today and we were just celebrating a little wow, bit Wow, you don't ago. look a day over 30. <laughs> yeah, you're, wow, you age beautiful. Wow, my God. <laughs> now I can call the Navy anytime I want. Or this person who was excited to uh, uh, wave at a building. I, th I think, just waving at windows, that's cool. And this guy who, okay, he wasn't actually in Times Square, but he was too beautiful to not include. There is more you and playful like a dog, self-maintained like a cat. Yeah, how long have you had? Since he was 35 days old. How old is he now? Five. Five. What's your name? They call me Rats. Rats? I wonder why. <laughs> Look around and you might even find this guy who straight killed this photo shoot. God damn. It, bro. Honestly, these photos are really good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of jealous. Well, I guess I gotta get a photo. Special. Uh, special. Uh, I'm here always, like a long time. So it's, uh, I love it. I love this place too much. You're awesome. Thank Very you. talented. Thank you. The first thing you probably notice in Times Square is all of the the lights. Every square inch is advertising something to you. Conglomerates and fashion and sodas and junk food and really good movies from The Rock that definitely won't bomb by the time this video comes out. Even the subway station has its own marquee. Times Square is sort of like a dystopian vision of capitalism run amok. And much like the fam gathering round to watch Super Bowl commercials, we eat it up. With over 300,000 people a day visiting, surely Times Square has some of the best food America has to offer. I mean, may, can I get a... Can I get a... Oh, 
Wow. It's just a really ridiculous slogan. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit of the sea. It's a bug. And also, shrimp, shrimpin' and simpin', baby. That's more like I wish it was simpin'. simpin'. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when in Times Square, you gotta eat at Bubba Gump. A Forrest Gump themed restaurant. Because nothing says New York like Forrest Gump. I think part of the appeal of eating here is you get the most beautiful view of oh, the yeah. city. So many screens over there. You can check all the stocks. Once seated inside, you are treated to a round of Forrest Gump trivia. Where was Forrest Gump born? Greenville, Alabama. Greenville, Alabama. Wow. How do you know that? Right here. Uh, the answers are all around us. There you go. You got, got, got second question. What three sports did Forrest Gump play during the movie? Track. Football. 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 They've got NYPD shirts, NYPD booty shorts, NYPD mugs, NYPD shot glasses, and even your very own NYPD rubber duck. What's with all the pro cop merch? <laughs> That's a weird <laughs> merchandise. I sure did see a lot of cops in Times Square. And for the life of me, I, I couldn't really figure out what they were doing. The NYPD seems to serve as more of an attraction than anything, and visitors sure seemed excited to get their pictures taken with them. These cops jumped into my photo without me even asking. All cops are bastards, but the ones in Times Square sure know how to strike a pose. There are so many performers in Times Square, all here for their own different reasons. How often do you come perform here? Every day this week. Um, I, I'm actually a pastor, so I usually just preach the word. I sing a little bit, but I felt God tell me to start with a guitar because it's mobile and everything. And then the Lord told me to come outside and then just pour his love and his light in the city, um, just playing any type of music and they will feel it in their heart. That feeling I
and God wants to reach every single person out here. Even, even Spider-Man? Even Spider-Man. I decided that if Jesus was inside of me, I, I might as well balance out the scales a little bit. Baruch, Baruch, Ata, Arata, Adonai, Adonai, Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Melech, Melech, Aolam, Aolam, Shehiyanu, Shehiyanu, Meki Emanu, Meki Emanu, Megi Yanu, Megi Yanu, Desman, Desman, Ase, Ase. No. no. I dropped out of Hebrew school, but there's still something comforting in knowing where my Jews at. Thank you. I really appreciate it. If you're a major brand, you've got to have a presence in Times Square. Stores aren't just shopping in Times Square, they're an experience. Look at her. M&M store. Also, Keith, this is M&M World. Oh, my bad. Get it right or don't get it at all. Get it right or pay the price. M&M's World, Tucker Carlson's nightmare, is not just a store. It's like an amusement park dedicated to chocolate, where you can find exclusive flavors. The Fudge Brownie. It's just like an M&M &M with a brownie piece inside. And some hot M&M's merch you won't find anywhere else. When I think M&M's, I think, I'm sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come. You may call me Queen Bee. Please don't make me do stuff. My brain has too many tabs open. Wouldn't it be cool if it turned your penny into a piece of candy? <laughs> no penny, no problem. Pay a dollar. Do I want one? Oh, here it is. The sexy one. I want yeah, a sexy one. one. Six to eight times. Also yeah, because you got to flatten a penny right now. Wow. That was a product reveal if I've ever seen yeah, one. Wow, that was you. incredible. My color move? Orange! I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> At night is when Times Square truly comes alive. Yeah! Gotta grab hold of life with all of my might Like each moment just might be my last there's this magical hour of quiet in Times Square, relatively speaking, when all the theaters are filled and the streets empty out a little bit. It's here where you'll find these, these pockets of stillness and strange beauty. Sure, look, Times Square is a tourist trap. It is designed for the sole purpose of sucking money out of you. But it also attracts the most eclectic group of people you'll find anywhere on the planet. Visitors from all over the world, people trying to make a buck, people grinding through the oppression of capitalism, people trying to make their art, and some people just trying to inspire those passing by. You're able to pull up just with the towel? Yeah. Seems hard as hell, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it long enough, man. That's why I look so easy. It's all about the grip. Right? It's all about the rap. Time to eat. Time to eat. <laughs> I see this area specifically, you have a big impact on the world. I do this because you have to set an example in life, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you go here in Times Square, because you got everybody, you got the world stage. Absolutely, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I never knew I was a big impact until I started doing this. You, know? you mind if I give it a try? Give it a try. To try. Wrap it. Uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. Look, if I were visiting New York for the first time, I, I'd maybe go anywhere else. But forcing myself to spend time here, I couldn't help but find the beauty. What's your name? Skip. Skip? I'm yeah. Zach. Pleasure. I was going to tell you, I was going to give you my Instagram, by the way. Yeah, please. Yes. Mr. Action Figure. Only in New York. There is beauty everywhere. Can you find even in the places Broadway? you swore were your least favorite on the planet. I think the reason people come here is, yeah, the lights and the excitement, but there's an energy. And it's not my favorite part of New York, but there's stuff here. You know, you make new friends, like the guy behind the camera. This has been Terrible Tourist. Join me next time when I take mushrooms and go to Super Mario World. That's a joke, but I actually think that'd be a really good video. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Like, would our audience be cool with that? I think it'd be funny. Okay, bye. From the street with walls to my ass. Look at him out here on the job. Get her done. Zach. 
<laughs> Thanks, man. I'm the Nicky Cowboy. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't go out early. <laughs> 